Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share with a friend. This book by Dr. Furman uh, of the endless volumes written on intermittent fasting, uh, I think uh, is the best. So intermittent fasting uh, is going to make you more sensitive to insulin, right? Uh, it's going to allow your cells to repair uh, because they're not constantly digesting something. Uh, it's going to make expression of genes more important, which is very, very uh, important. And it's going to build growth hormone, which is easier to burn fat and muscle, which burns even more fat. Okay, you guys. So that's that's the, the gist of it. But let me use uh, symbols and let me use uh, simple analogies uh, to really hit the point home, drive the point home. Okay, guys, imagine that factory that works three shifts going day and night, month, week after week, month after after month, sparks everywhere, uh, you know, uh, grind building up. How m it'll get to a point where that factory is inefficient. Things are not gonna clean, not getting clean. Things are not getting fixed. Uh, accidents are happening. People are exhausted. Mistakes are being made. Imagine that dark factory sparks flying everywhere and the immense pressure to produce, okay? Uh, then imagine a factory that does take Sunday off to relax, uh, recover, clean up, uh, repair itself, okay? That is uh, intermittent fasting in a nutshell. Okay, so this constant eating as society, well, if I don't have breakfast, I'm gonna pass out. That's not true, it's totally psychological. Uh, you know, the breakfast and the snack between breakfast and lunch and then lunch and then, you know, by now you're starting to get bloated. You know, as we get older, we have less and less enzymes to digest that adds even more to the pressure. Uh, and then you have something to eat, you know, between uh, dinner and uh, lunch and dinner and then several sn snacks after uh, dinner, you go to bed this big, all bloated. Again, you don't have the enzymes. The older you get, you have less and less enzymes. Number one, most important, in my opinion, most important point uh, in intermittent fasting, you just allow your body to rest. When your cells are not digesting some food, some drink, some artificial this, some artificial that, it has a chance to relax. Um, you know, and repair itself. Intermittent fasting lowers the, lowers the bad cholesterol, LDL, and lowers your blood pressure. So you, the heart does better. You're not gonna develop Alzheimer's. So all this stress, 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 uh, points in the direction of Alzheimer's. When you're intermittent uh, fasting, your body has a chance to repair itself. So less chance of Alzheimer's. Weight loss is the rule of tens. 10% uh, uh, abdominal, minimum 10% abdominal fat loss in, you know, uh, a couple months and 10% weight loss. How about longevity? Well, studies have shown, the intervened studies on rats shows that when the rats fasted one day, ate the next, fasted, ate, in other words, every other day they fasted, they lived almost twice, you guys. So think about life expectancy of a, of a rat. They live twice that, twice that. So um, helps the heart, helps your brain, prevents terrible disease like Alzheimer's, diabetes too, makes you look better, uh, makes you lose uh, abdominal fat, which is the worst, the most damaging one, uh, increases growth hormone, so you develop tone musculature and burns even more fat uh, so all the way around, intermittent fasting. And you see, there's a historical precedent for it. How many times in the Bible you hear the word fasting? You read fasting. That occurred a lot in those days. We see in nature, the lion eats twice a week. We see it in the Bible. Uh, now science uh, basically supports intermittent fasting. Look, you guys, it's six o'clock here. And I have not had my first meal today. Not yet. So uh, try intermittent fasting.